Hey guys, just me, Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio up here. And now we're demonstrating a unit that came from a Pep Motors in looks like a Marquette, Michigan. This is out of a 70 Plymouth Roadrunner. Our FM conversion has been requested, and so uh, it's been done. So let's fire it up and make sure everything works. Century Link consistently fast speeds and honest personal. Okay, gonna run down. This is uh, I have it set to FM, so we'll run it all the way down the dial. Make sure we pick up some stations. Support for this public radio. Right beg Toyota. Okay, so that's pretty typical. About around about 30 FM stations. So let's uh, go to AM. Make sure we get a couple stations over there uh, to go from bands on a mile that did not have a band switch. We just turn it off and back on within about half a second. Now we're on the AM band. So let's see what we can pick up. I am having trouble with my AM antenna at the moment. One. Okay, and there's our strong station. Looks like we may not pick up our weak station today. Okay, so we'll go back to FM. Off on. And I'll demonstrate a few. Try to find something that's got a lot of talk on it so I don't get nailed for copyright stuff. Scanning for stations. Okay, I got it. I accidentally activated the scan function, so. Okay, let's uh, check our balance control. All the way left, all the way right. All the way left, all the way right. Okay, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna change station so I don't get a copyright nail here. See how that goes. Okay, I'm gonna activate the uh, the the front rear fader. We have that now. We activate that by giving our tone control two turns upwards. So let's try that. Fader adjust. Fader adjust. So now the same control is adjusting your front rear speaker balance. Okay, so I'm going to keep adjusting it, but once I stop adjusting it, it'll wait about one second and then fader set. Fader set. So there's it. I can see my balance is just a little bit off here. Okay, let's test the aux. I'm going to change stations again. Keep the copyright police at bay. Let's make sure the aux switches over and allows that tone through. So there's that, there's our aux. Now there is a 20 second delay before the radio comes back after using the aux input. That's because of a aux circuit that holds onto that input longer than it really needs to, to make sure you're not switching back and forth constantly between songs and all that. So we'll just wait for this radio to come back on by itself and then we'll pop in some Neil Sedak and see what the eight track sounds like. There's our radio come back. Okay, pop some eight track. And as you notice, the A track just kind of jumps out at you. Okay, that's a test tone you're hearing. Yeah. Okay, get a blank spot there. Now, after we pull the tape out, the radio does come back immediately. And there's a radio come back immediately. Only thing left to tech is, test is the dial light. Make sure that comes on. And you may not be able to see it from your vantage point, but I can. So you'll just, you can just barely see that dial lighting up. So you'll just have to take my word for it if you can't see it better than that. 
<laughs> so it is working though. So uh, it's going off. It's ready to go back, and I'm ready to probably take the rest of the night off. It is Fourth of July, and this is my third video today. So uh, I think I'll probably take the rest of the night off, watch a little TV. Um, I'm Barry with Barry's Eight Dragon Classic Car Radio here, and you've just seen what I can do and what I've already done to 40 or 50 of this this same model on my website. Um, God only knows how many of this basically. Chrysler model I've had in this shop. Uh, at any rate, my uh, my number should you need to reach me for service or repair work is 928-533-9666. My website's in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and listening. We'll see you guys next time.